Alright guys, so, <clears throat> um, you guys saw me build my computer uh, a few months ago, maybe not a few months ago, maybe a month ago or so, but what happened was my motherboard got fried, so I had to get it replaced, and it came right now in the mail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up for you guys, um, see what comes in the box. This is a Gigabyte Z68 PDS3 motherboard. I want to see what comes in the box so I can show you guys exactly, um, what you can expect um, in case, let's say, your motherboard is fried or something like that and you RMA it or get it replaced by the company that is replacing it for you. So, opened it up so you guys can't see the uh, address or whatever. That doesn't matter, but here's my motherboard. All this stuff, I don't want to get it anywhere, everywhere and make a mess, so. Sweet. Okay, so, have all that still in there and here's my motherboard. All right, so right off the bat, I can tell that is my motherboard. Give me a sec. So, I'm sure that they did not replace it and give me a new one because um, I remember that on my motherboard, get out of your carpet, I'm trying to move the carpet so I don't step on it, but um, ground myself real quick, but um, I know this is my motherboard box since I don't know if you can see or not, but it's kind of scratched, I doubt you can see it on the camera, but it's scratched up, um, so let's see what we have over here, just the normal motherboard stuff CD manuals I think I gave this to them with the with the thing so nothing they didn't really give me anything extra that's the uh, IO shield for the motherboard move this and there's the motherboard baby <laughs> so uh, man am I so excited to get this because it's been like two weeks it's been like two weeks since I sent it in and um, there you guys go it's a motherboard it's a Z68 board running a 2500K and a 560Ti on it. Um, this isn't really a great motherboard, I just got it because of its price. It was $99 at the time from Amazon. It was cheap, and I don't know if you guys know, but I am cheap, so. I was trying to save money at the time, wasn't trying to spend too much money on the build. And I don't know if you can see or not, but that is my i5 2500K processor, as well as my 560Ti graphics card. I got the dual shot version from EVGA, which means it has two fans on it, big deal. That's my Hyper 212 Plus cooler and rubbing alcohol to take the existing existing thermal paste off my CPU so I can clean it off, put some new thermal paste on there, put it into the motherboard right there, put it into the case, and I'll be set because I have my power supply, my SSD, my opti drive, opt uh, optical drive all in the case, and Tech 300. So I'm going to put in the CPU, I'm going to put in the cooler, and I'll get right back to you guys. So I have everything set up. I want to just test it out to make sure it all works. So I have my power supply plugged in. I have my motherboard plugged in. Let me just turn on the power supply. And then we will, where are those two buttons that allow us to turn on the computer?
There we go. As you can see, everything is spinning. And it says disk boot failure because we haven't installed the SSD yet, which already has the OS and everything on it, and my Steam library and everything. So the beast is working. We shall put this in the case um, and document it. So I'll see you guys in the next segment. So now, because I'm not using the stock cooler, I am going to focus. I will use some rubbing alcohol to get the old thermal compound off the CPU and so I can put my Hyper 212 CPU cooler on. So I'm just going to use a normal, that's too close, whatever. You get the point, one of these paper towels, you know, just normal paper towel. I will put some uh, rubbing alcohol on it and we shall see what happens. So, hey, how you have to open these um, rubbing alcohol bottles or whatever. All right, there we go. Just put some like that on your tissue. You got some right there. And then, I like to fold it like that. I'm not getting into it. There we go. I like to fold it like that and just clean it off. Clean all that old thermal paste off there. See that? You may have to apply a little more pressure um, to get some of the thermal compound off. Since I did this like something like two weeks ago when I was testing out if my motherboard was actually brokered or not. And in fact, it was. So you see that? I don't know if you, yeah, you can see it. So I'm gonna do it again, just to make sure I have everything cleaned up properly. Um, don't want any uh, thermal compound on there from the old pre-applied um, thermal compound that was on the CPU stock heatsink. So I'm just gonna wipe this off real quick. Um, and there's a little on the side of the CPU, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this, this cotton swab, get some of that on there, uh, and then I shall rub this on here just a little bit, just so I don't get, so I get some of it off the freaking cotton swab or whatever, and then I try to clean where the thermal paste is. I don't think I can get in there, so I'm just going to try to clean that up real quick. I'm gonna try to wipe it off. Don't wanna make a mess, you know? And then, all the extra will be wiped off with this. Okay. So that's all fine and dandy. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus CPU cooler, and let's just zoom out real quickly. You can see my G scale memory, Rip Jaws X, 1600 megahertz, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. I'm gonna put on my Hyper 212 Plus CPU cooler, and I will get back to you guys in just a second. All right, guys, so I have everything working now. See the swagged out, pimped out PC. Swag. 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 